Uh, thank you very much, Deputy President. I too rise to take note of answers provided in question time today uh, by the government. And I was somewhat incredulous, and that I wasn't when I heard an opposition senator just say, couldn't understand why we were asking questions about cost of living pressures on Australian families. And I thought that really said everything about how out of touch this government really is. Because I can assure them, everybody on this side of the Senate chamber know and understand, because we are out there talking to Australian families and Australian workers every day. And there is not a day, there is not a visit that goes by in my home state of Western Australia, where West Australians are not saying how much they have been impacted by the cost of living rises that have occurred in less than two years under this government. And it's not just one or two areas where they're coming under cost pressures. It is in everything uh, that they buy and spend money on. Food is up 9 per cent. Petrol is up 27 per cent. Interest rates, 12 interest rate hikes in just over 12 months under those opposite. And on average, Australians and West Australians are now paying at least $24,000 extra per year in their mortgage payments. So, again, in Western Australia in particular, housing is so expensive, not just the extra $24,000 a year on average in their mortgages. But for those West Australians who rent, they know just how expensive it now is. Rents have increased by over, over 26 per cent, and first home buyers and new approvals remain at their lowest levels in more than a decade. In WA, the median house price has risen over 21 per cent, and rent in Western Australia has risen by nearly 50 per cent under those opposite, and that is a complete disgrace. Now, to afford the average mortgage in Perth, families will need to earn over $115,000 a year just to afford a mortgage, all the time while real wages have decreased under those opposite. And to make it even worse, in Perth, we have the lowest rental vacancy rates in Australia at less than 0.4 per cent. Now, not only have those opposite federally made it incredibly difficult for West Australians to afford to eat <coughs> oh, excuse me, um, and to buy the necessities, but now, with their proposed taxes for cars, they'll be paying 25,000 more for a Toyota Land Cruiser, 17,000 more for a Ford Ranger, and nearly 15,000 more for a Toyota Hilux. These are the tools of trade of Thank families you. and workers Thank you, in Senator Western Reynolds. Australia.